welcome back to a boat called Wanda. So I'm sorry it's been a few weeks since I've done an update. I've had a couple of things that have come up and unfortunately I've not been able to spend much time on my boat for the last three weeks. I'm really keen to get back into it but I'm also starting to feel very overwhelmed with the amount of work that uh, has to be done to get Wanda anywhere near ready to really to um, get her outside and, and finally get her into the water. Okay, so I need to get back and try and finish that foredeck because that's a real nuisance having all those pieces missing and having that deck quite unstable. It means I need to be careful where I walk. I've got the foam all cut up and ready to go. I'm just going to go up now and bed that down. Okay, well that's another thing done. So I've put the two pieces of um, foam down on this side and got some uh, bedding compound and filled up that gap there. So I'll let this cure for a day and the next couple of days are going to be very very warm so I won't start laminating this yet until it cools down a bit. So next steps I'll start working on those side decks. There are big sections there that need to be done next. Okay so this is my marine plywood that's arrived. Um, 15 mil thick, really good quality and so I can use this to cut up some strips to make the part that goes under the Genoa track in the core. So I'll get to work on this next. Okay, so I have my piece of timber which is going to sit under the Genoa track all um, cut up and laid out ready to go like such. Now what I need to do is to get some foam pieces that will sit between uh, the piece of timber here and um, the tow rail so they'll need to get under this cavity here. Now for everything else um, I've just been able to get some tracing paper and mark out the size that way and then go and cut the foam. I can't use tracing paper that easily because I need to estimate how far under this cavity I need to get to um, butt up against this tow rail. So that's what I'm going to do now and the way I'm going to do that is just by having a series of cardboard pieces like this um, which I'll sort of push under here and fit um, against the tow rail and then stack them up side by side so that I can then um, kind of work out the shape of this cavity and then I can use that to, to cut out the foam. Okay, so now I can just reassemble all of my segments to um, create that outline of the, the template that I need to make up. So you can see I've just got all of my pieces sort of reconstructed back here. And this will represent the line of the um, tow rail that I need to butt up against. And this is the line that uh, goes up against the marine ply piece that's meant to go under the Genoa track. So there we go, this is the piece of foam that I need to cut out next. Um, a piece from this edge here up to this line here which uh, goes down this way. This is too big for one piece, it's about 1.4 meters long so I'll need to cut up a couple of pieces to make this up. But that's fine, I've got plenty of pieces of offcuts. Okay, so next step, look at what pieces I've got here and work out how many sections I'm going to do it in. And then before I cut the foam, I'm going to again make it up in a piece of cardboard template so I can fit it up there and see how it butts up against the marine ply. And if it's good, then I'll come down and cut it out of foam. Okay, so here are my sections now. And I'm just going to see how well they fit. Just looking from the outside, I can see that it's a nice flush fit against this tow rail. So hopefully it should sit in here quite nicely. And yeah, that feels pretty good. Okay, so now I can just go ahead and mark out the other side, which is the part that um, butts up against the timber. And of course what I've done with the timber is created a 30 degrees um, chamfer here. So Instead of having like a, a flush or straight butt like that, the foam will be able to lay over this, give it a little bit more support. Cool. 
One of the reasons that it's taking so long to prepare all of these pieces for this side deck is not just the time to cut out all of the pieces of foam and timber, but it's all the additional preparation I need to go to to um, make sure that I get a really good um, bond down with the, the foam and the wood. The problem I've got is the lower skin is quite uneven down here. And um, the other problem I've got is I'm trying to get the foam into this cavity as I, as I had to before. So the challenge isn't just to get all the pieces cut up, it's to find ways to make sure that I get the foam um, really laid down well into the um, skin and also where there is that cavity to make sure that the foam um, is sort of like clamped down in that cavity because I don't want to have all this filler and all these voids between the, uh, the foam and the cavity there on the side here. So there's a couple of things I've done to, uh, to deal with that. The first thing I've done is I've used the uh, holes here, which are for the Genoa track, to actually screw down and on the underside of the deck, as you can see here, I've just put a uh, strip of plywood and then from this side I've um, screwed down this top piece here. So that will make sure that this piece of marine ply that goes under the Genoa rail um, is squeezed down uh, really nicely to that bottom skin because all the screws going through here are, are basically sandwiching this together. So this part's really good. The second problem I've got is on this side here where I've got the foam all the way under to about here, but there's still a bit of movement here. So I've got a bit of a, a situation where there's, um, there's just a bit of a gap here. So to deal with that issue, I'm going to actually drill some holes through the top skin, the foam and the bottom skin along here so that I can get uh, another timber strip underneath and then some screws from the top to really clamp that piece together so that there's uh, not so much movement in this. So it feels kind of wrong, but uh, basically I'm going to be drilling more holes in the entire deck from the top skin all the way through to the bottom skin. So this will be the top piece that should clamp it down. Okay, here goes. All the way through. Okay, well that was very easy. So now I'll go underneath into the cabin and I'll tack this up on the other side and then I'll drill some pilot holes through this and be able to screw it down. Okay, well today's the day that I put this all together. I've got all the pieces laid out here. There's about 13 sections in all that make up that port side side deck with the Genoa track timber and then the foam that goes around it. It's taken so much time, I'm really surprised how long it took me to put all of this together. But anyway, here it is. Um, I've done a couple of dry fits. There's not much more I can do except to uh, bite the bullet and put it all down. It has to go down in one piece, well, in one session. So I'm gonna have to work really, really quickly with that um, epoxy, which will set in maybe 30, 40 minutes using the slow cure. Um, so, you know, I'll have to move pretty quickly. I'm not sure if I'll be able to record it all, but we'll see how we go. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to vacuum all of this, dry it down, um, wipe it with a bit of acetone. I've already prepared the deck. Um, wrap the timber up in um, packing tape where I don't want it to stick to any epoxy and then uh, go for it. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I'm just going to mix up my um, thickened epoxy now and get up there and start bedding all that stuff down. This is a new idea I've got. This is just some quite thick uh, plastic which I've made into a sort of cone. And the idea here is I can fill this up with the epoxy and get this under that um, sort of cavity where the um, tow rail is and try and squeeze it in uh, along there. So let's see how this goes.
Okay, so there we go, all done. This took about four hours in the end and probably wasn't a great idea to try and do it all as one piece, even though they were quite interlocked and I felt like everything had to be done as one whole um, project. It's quite difficult because all the pieces were very interlocked, so I didn't feel like I could just do part of it and then come back to do the second part because um, I'd miss a chance for everything to sort of bond together in the one go. I was going pretty quickly, sort of racing up and down the ladder, mixing epoxy, um, trying to sort of stagger it so that uh, I didn't put everything down at once in case it started to cure. And um, it was just a little bit stressful. And if I could do, it, do this again, I'd probably try and um, think it through so that it, it wasn't all so interdependent, whereby everything had to be done at once. It would have nice, been nice to have um, been able to do it in pieces rather than the whole thing as a one. But anyway, there it is. So um, it worked out as, as I planned. Everything was put down in the right or order or sequence. Let's just have a look. So I've got those strips of uh, plywood that are screwing the foam through the deck onto the other side. All of these little wedges here are basically um, put there to keep that top skin pushed down against the foam to prevent the lip from coming up. So there we go. Well, I'll leave the update at this point. This was another one of those weeks where I spent three days just cutting things up and doing the preparation, and then a half day actually putting it all together. Uh, you know, which is typical of this sort of deck repair work where it's all prep and cutting and, and sanding and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, that's my week. This is what I've done. And next week I should be able to do the other side of the deck. That's going to be much, much easier because I don't have that um, cavity against the tow rail to worry about. It's just a nice square piece that's been cut away and that's a lot easier to work with. This was a real pain in the butt trying to get um, the foam wedged in against that, uh, that tow rail. The other side won't have any of that, so I'll just fly through that. And then also I can laminate the foredeck, which would be great, because I'm really dying to walk on that and see what it's like. So thanks for watching. Come back and have a look next week, and hopefully that'll be done. We'll see you then. Cheers.